Okay, right now you're taking a live look from Crystal Beach, Texas. The National Hurricane Center says Delta is forecast to bring life-threatening storm surges to the Gulf Coast communities. Let's now turn to meteorologist Brittany Beggs in our Storm Alert Center as we take a look at the very latest on Delta and what they can expect. Brittany. Just a couple miles off the coast there, wave heights are anywhere from 8 to 12 feet. So we're already kind of seeing some of that wave heights. And I do have a graphic I can show you coming up probably in the next half hour. So stick around for our 1230 hour. Here's the latest track from the Hurricane Center. Now, the only change really from the 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock advisory is the max sustained winds have gone from a 120 to 115. So not much change. Movement is northward 12 to 13 miles per hour. It is still a cat three, about 130 miles just south of Lake Charles. So here's the new track. It'll make landfall, I'm thinking, for, between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so that would be 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time uh, by the time this makes landfall as a cat two. So there's just a little bit of weakening expected this afternoon and into tonight too. Once it makes landfall, additional forward speed, we always know once they make landfall, they significantly um, lose their intensity because all those ingredients are kind of cut off. As we pull this in motion, it's by Saturday night into Sunday, it's a remnant low, becomes a depression. This means those max sustained winds are going to be under 40 miles per hour. But with the cone of this, with the track of this, by Sunday, the winds are going to be picking up around here, Saturday night and into Sunday morning, uh, especially in our western half. And it's because of the tropical storm. And even though it'll be weakening, it'll be a depression, some of those winds with the depression are going to increase in our area. So higher elevations, heads up. This is Saturday night into Sunday when we're going to kind of feel the effects of the wind from that. And I'm going to show you our wind gust here in a minute. Meanwhile, the rain has begun here. This moisture is from Delta and then you have felt it. If you stepped outside today, it's muggy, it's humid. Those dew points have risen. Uh, so the dew points stay in the 60s all the way through Monday for us. Uh, so high rise radar right now showing light stuff out there. It looks like there could be a little bit of yellow color across uh, northern Hamilton and parts of Bradley County, so there might be a little bit of moderate rainfall there, but I don't expect thunderstorms uh, today. There could be some thunderstorms rolling in on Sunday. I'm going to show you when and where here in a minute too. Here's our rapid refresh model. This is actually breaking some of that rain for this afternoon. I think there will be a mist on going, but take a look at 7 7 30. Moderate rainfall possible. Unfortunately, this is just in time for game time for a lot of folks. So if you're headed to high school football games tonight, bring an umbrella, bring a poncho, bring a towel to wipe down the bleachers. Um, but I think moderate rainfall rates do look possible over Meigs County for game of the week for to, uh, this evening. As we head into Saturday, it is wet. I want to show you the Viper cast. The Viper cast is showing a lot of widely scattered stuff ongoing. This is all the way through Saturday. We'll put this in motion through Sunday for you too. Saturday evening looks like we could get a break. The takeaways, there's going to be periods of showers and showers uh, ongoing with this event. And then by Sunday late in the day, this is what's interesting. Here's five, six o'clock in the evening. Right now, there's not a risk of severe weather uh, for Saturday, but Sunday we may be put into a marginal risk. This indicates a few thunderstorms rolling in with it, with a kind of frontal passage with it. So this is 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the evening. We will have to keep an eye on some thunderstorms for now for us for Sunday. So just a heads up, this is some new information that has come down. Rainfall amounts for today, it's pretty light through the entire period. We're looking at an inch to two inches. Now those to our west, you're probably going to get isolated three inches of rainfall. This new rattle model that's come down is showing some locally higher amounts east of the Blue Ridge and over Cherokee County. So just a heads up, there will be some pockets of two to three inches of rainfall with this event. Right now it's 70 out there, 72 across Dalton. Here's our forecast for game of the week as South Pittsburgh is taking on Meigs County at Meigs County. I've got temperatures holding steady in the 70s for most of game time, but with that rain chance upticking. So our rain chance is greater for this evening than what we were thinking over the last two days. Weekend forecast, it is soggy for sure. Gusty winds increase Sunday. Here's our forecast surface winds. Saturday doesn't look to be too bad, but those sustained winds are really going to uptick Sunday later in the day too. That's sustained about 18 miles per hour. Vipercast wind gust today, I don't think that's very much of an issue either really for Saturday either, but Sunday is when those gusty winds begin. We're looking at 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. I don't see 40 to 50. I don't see that. 
but 20 to 30 a definite possibility here Sunday morning at 7 a.m. So just a heads up, it's going to be a little windy around here come Sunday. All right, I will be back in the next half hour. We'll take a look at the wave heights over the Gulf of Mexico. Latrice, back to you.